Hi guys, welcome to T J and J 360 Fishing. And my name is Jacob, and we're this is a new channel. We just started to teach all about fishing and just tutorials and what to use on the right day. And my name, or I already told you my name. My bad. Um, our cameraman Tristan, he's one of my fishing partners, and he's gonna be in the videos half the time, but. Sometimes we're gonna be changing up. I'll be fishing. He'd be filming. He, I'd be filming. He'd be fishing. Our buddy John, the other J in this channel name, he is. He can't be here right now because he has some stuff to do and he just wouldn't be able to make it. So, um, this will be our first video. And we're gonna teach you stuff on how to fish. Hi, I'm Tristan from T J and J Fishing, and I'm Jacob's partner and. <laughs> He's a cameraman and other stuff like that. And, and like, we switch and we're from Watson, Louisiana and yeah. All right, so today we're gonna be teaching you on what to use during generally September and October, like early months of October, sometimes later month. Um, Normally the fish will be trying to get like as much of a full belly as they can on food before the water gets too cold. So you, with that said, you are going to be wanting to use something that's, that sh imitates a shad and moves fast. So I'm going to show you all a couple of baits that I recommend to use. The first bait I re recommend for you to use is a blue, is a spinner bait with a green head, got a white teardrop blade, and then a gold willow leaf. It's got the white, blue, and chartreuse uh, skirt with a chartreuse grub, I mean, uh, trailer on it. The second bait I rec recommend to, to you to use is a square bill crankbait. It does not have to be this color. It can just generally be any color, but just anything that's a square bill crankbait that is the color like shad imitating and it, it, um, it moves fast and it gives movement. That is something also to use. Another bait, this is the second to last bait I recommend you to use. There's one more after this. It is a soft jerk bait, kind of like a fluke. Um, same thing with that. I would recommend using a silver one or a white one just because it, it's more of like a shad and when you move it, it's kind of like a like it just does like this little jerking part so you just i mean i would just use anything that's like the color of shad like this would be probably a good color to use because the bottom but um the last bait i recommend you use is a a topwater walking bait which i was not able to find today to bring out here because I, I think i lost them or something but i could not find them today so i was not able to bring them out here so that is all for today, and we might even show you some fishing clips if you would like. 